Hello, greetings everybody, and welcome here to Prog Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of the show, a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. So, once a month I do this show, usually the last day of the month, which is What's New. What did, well, it's actually not called What's New, it's called New Releases that I've Purchased This Month. Um, or if you prefer album hauls so stuff that I've gotten over the month I may have bought them somebody may have gave me them uh, maybe I made a deal and swapped some for some you know I didn't steal any though <laughs> I'm beyond the stealing era of my life so anyways we I've got a dozen this w this week um, really wasn't my plan I, I went into the store encore and bought three albums one day and then I had to go back to see my daughter about three or four days later and I was in there again the guy says are you gonna move in now <laughs> anyways I did talk to him I got a bunch of stuff but I did talk to him about a few things too that I think will help me get more stuff which is that um, he did tell me that they had recently purchased a uh, an estate somebody had died and they purchased all the albums from the estate and that they would be made available to us as part of the used section so he's his we are going to actually do a tour of his store one day um, I'm not quite sure when I'm thinking it'll probably be in the spring because I don't go there much in the winter but in the spring I will go there and ask him it's all right if I just do a tour of his store uh, for my online site I don't think he even knows I'm in this doing this yet, so yeah, we'll see. By then, maybe he'll know. So uh, we will do a, a tour of that, but that's the primary place I go to get like 85 to 90 percent. I do buy stuff from Laser's Edge too. Uh, usually, stuff that's very difficult to find anywhere else. That's that's where I usually go. Or if I happen, I, I actually like the way Ken Golem has his. Um, his albums are packaged like really well I really like the way he sets everything up and yeah, it's a little more pricey than it would be to get from Encore but um, there's a lot of stuff I can't get from Encore but I did talk to the guy at Encore and he said yeah if you if you see a box set or something you really want we don't have it let us know what it is and we'll look into see getting it and then uh, you know it might be co less costly for me that way so we will see what happens. So anyways, without going on too much, so basically this show is just about the new stuff that I've gotten. If I get shirts, I'll show you them too. And I actually don't recall if I got any this month. I don't think I did. Or hats. Hats are another big thing for me. I don't think I bought any of that kind of stuff. Just basically albums lately. So we're going to do this. I've got it set up. I'm going to do the progressive stuff first, as I always do, and then the other stuff. There's not much of the other stuff this week. It's pretty much progressive stuff and actually one group pretty much dominating this. So we're going to start out with this first album, which I've listened to its entirety. Jethro Tull's Stormwatch. Yes. So the guy had an extensive Tull collection, both in vinyl and in CD, and they were all made available. So I bought as many of the ones that I don't have as I could I now think I have 20 tall albums of the 23 there is out there. Uh, and one particular one, um, only rock and roll. Uh, what's it called? Uh, too old to die, too young to rock and roll. That's one of the ones I know I don't have. But this one, I listened to. I really like this one. I think this one is going to be a big hit for me. I've listened to it its entirety. Really tallish. I love it a lot. Okay. The next one I haven't listened to. And you'll notice when I haven't listened to something that still has the price tag on it. That's generally how I work. Once I once I listen to it, I take the price tag off. That that way I know I listen to it. Um, I haven't listened to this at all. I asked the guy about actually asked the guy about it. I don't generally ask. He says yeah, he doesn't think it's that bad. So um, definitely will be an album I'll be listening to. It comes with a nice book, as you see. Nice book. Lots of stuff. There's a picture of Ian Anderson on the flute there. This is one of their more recent albums. I'm recent meaning not from the 70s and 80s. And I've noticed everybody here has less hair than they had in those periods, including him. <laughs> so uh, I believe this, well, it's during the computer era for sure. Dot com, but I can't remember the exact date of release for this album. 
see if I can get some answers by donning my visionary wonders here. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why, oh, this one was from 99, so it's not so long ago. The thing I liked about Stormwatch um, in the listening is that it kind of was the first album that kind of reminded me of Crest of a Knave, which is an album I've had for decades now. And so I'm looking forward to hearing what some of these others. So this one here, the guy told me, is not that great of an album uh, from 91. It's called um, Catfish Rising, but I'll be the judge of whether it's good or not when I listen to it. So this was the third one that I bought. Uh, the next one up was um, Roots to Branches, which I've heard is pretty good as well. When was this one released? I'm looking for the date here. Um, not seeing anything for it. Doesn't say anything. That's the problem with so many albums. They don't tell you release dates. I'm not really sure what that's all about, but they don't. I like the inside album cover, though. Pretty um, uh, CD cover. Pretty nice. Yeah, I was lucky to get all these for pretty much, I think they were all $9. Yeah, I'm happy. Um... Just looking to see. It doesn't say, it doesn't give a date for the release of this album. But it's a nice little book, as almost all of them are. I mean, he's gone all in on the box sets now, which I think are the thing to go in on him because he gives a lot of previously unreleased material plus live stuff. Yeah, he really goes all out on them. They're, they're among, oh, this one's 95, I see it here. 95. So a little bit before the dot com one, but after. Uh, after the Catfish Rising, which I believe was... Oh, no. Actually, this one says 2004, but I think this is a remake. Hmm. I don't see anything. Uh, Barry Low, Barry Low, Barry Moore Barlow is on this, so... And David Palmer and John Anderson... John Evans, so... It's got to be a bit of an older album looking but Christ they don't say nothing okay anyways the, the uh, roots to branches one was released before uh, jetsotall.com in the 90s so and I found that the uh, the sound on the uh, Catfish Rising or on Stormwatch was very similar. They had some similarities to uh, Crest of a Knave, so I thought it might have been in that same time period. Okay, and then the last one, which uh, I've heard of and knew of and have actually heard a few songs off this before, which is the 89's release of Rock Island, which I think is a pretty good album I've heard. And I'm looking forward to it. So I got, I've got five good Jethro Tull albums that I had not owned before previously so my total time is going to be triple I've got stuff on there I still haven't listened to it's just I went from about six or seven tall albums when I started this channel to now 20 so and um, you know with that with all of the others that other stuff that I have it's difficult to listen to everything at once so the other the next album up is not a tall album this is a Steve Hackett album I did. Li li I, I have been listening to Spectral Mornings as a precursor for my um, series next month. So this one is another one of these albums, Momentum, which um, I believe it was his girlfriend did the artwork for this. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is an 88. Um, I'm hoping this one is as good as that Spectral Mornings. I think they're both pretty solid albums. So I got this one as well. Next one is going to help me with my Pink Floyd collection. I did listen to this in its entirety. It's a different kind of an album. Of course, it, for most of you know that this is a music score for the movie More. Which is all played by Pink Floyd here. So, But it's not bad. I, didn't, I don't mind Obscured from the Clouds. So I'm hoping this will be probably the same thing. And I've actually listened to it in its entirety once. It's not too bad. Um, I don't mind the musical scores by Pink Floyd. Uh, I know that some people prefer their songs to be completed, and there's a lot of incompletion in some of the stuff. 
but still it's Pink Floyd and I like it. The next one was the last album I bought at the store. I was about to leave and the guy was unpackaging some of the stuff that he had gotten through the estate. And he says, oh, do you happen to like Eloy? I said, yeah, I like Eloy. And I'm actually looking for one particular album, uh, Silent Cries of Mighty Echoes. And he said, oh, yeah, look, we have that one. I said, okay, I'll take that one too. <laughs> yeah, I spent way more than I had planned. I planned to get like maybe two or three and end up with about eight or nine. Uh, yeah, so I've listened to this its entirety once. This one comes closest to Colors for me so far of the albums that I've listened to, Planets and Dawn and a few others. Uh, but I still like Colors the best, but I think this one comes as close to that sound as, uh, as uh, any of the others I've heard. So this is a pretty... Uh, it also has a couple of bonus track, Child Migration which is also from Colors as well. So this was a 79 release, so actually pre, I think it was pre-Colors, like before Colors. So, um, and this one you may see show up on my, uh, you know, there's a possibility this could be a release for my um, top 30 for my next month's series. So, excellent. This one, I think I've already talked about a bit about it uh, when I did the Yes thing. Um, and so I did get this one again. I, I could have swore I had it, but I, I couldn't find it anywhere. So I got it again. I was there and it was available. I took it. Uh, yes is um, open your eyes. I, I'm not really sure I liked the cover of this too much. It kind of bland. You, you think about all those Roger Dean things and you get something like this. I don't know. This I was happy to get, even though uh, people have told me it doesn't sound anything like them. But... I beg to differ. I've listened to the entire album. I actually like it. It's a little bit... Well, I mean, it doesn't sound like their progressive era a lot, but there's there's still some Genesis sound to it. And we're talking about this one here, from Genesis to Revelation. So I now, I now believe I have in the entire Genesis collection. Wow. I'm just moving right along. <laughs> and we have two more albums. The next one is a, the first... I, I guess that last Genesis one might be considered the first non-progressive one in this list. This this one here definitely falls into that. This is Zuma, Neil Young and Crazy Horse. I'm really actually looking forward to listen to this because some of the stuff I've heard before, and I'm a huge uh, Neil Young and Crazy Horse fan. I like a lot of the stuff they've done. I've listened to a lot of stuff they've done. Um... Yeah, I think this is uh, this is going to be fun to listen to, and I got it for the nine bucks, which is pretty seems to be pretty standard this week. The last album for the for today, uh, yeah, I picked this out of the rack because it's the one album that everybody talks about all the time, and I figured you know what I got I got to probably give this one a try. It's got all kinds of funny shit in here though, like. I don't know what that's about, and I guess I should show you what album I'm talking about first. This is Exile on Main Street from the Rolling Stones. Kind of a very busy cover, eh? A lot of busy stuff here. Um, so then it comes with another little booklet like this one, which has the list of all the tracks on it. If you can see that. Um, I did listen to it. It's an entirety. in good shape this one's the album that features uh, Bill Wyman Mick Taylor Charlie Watts Keith Richards and of course Mick Jagger so many people feel this is their best or one of their best albums of all time and uh, I've been collecting Stones albums a lot lately I think this is like the fifth one or sixth one I've collected in the last month or so I always liked the Stones when I was growing up, and then for some reason, the only albums I only bought two other albums, which one was, uh, which you all know was um, Some Girls. That was my first one, and for a long time, it was my only one until I was in grade 11, and then I bought um, Emotional Rescue. That was my second one. I think I own. <coughs> I can't even think of the name of the album. It's the album that start me up on it. I can't think of the name of it. I think I did own that in vinyl. 
my sister would probably have that now I'm not sure but uh, so and that's it for me I didn't really have much else by them a, a greatest I, I love it love it live I think a live hit album from them and then a few other things this thing also comes with a I'm not even sure what these things are they look like little posters postcards so it comes with that as well so there you go so that's what we have for um, for this 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 month I guess this month's uh, album hauls 12 albums a dozen a dirty dozen Rolling Stones exile on Main Street Neil Young's and Crazy Horses Zuma this one I haven't listened to yet you can see because the sticker's still on it uh, Genesis from Genesis to Revelations I did listen to this in its entirety uh, this album I've owned I'm sure I owned before and I've listened to it it's not that great of an album and when I went back and listened to it I realized that I probably could have just spent nine bucks somewhere else <laughs> um, this one I've listened to its entirety once it's really good I'm looking forward to putting this in my playlist um, more of course I've listened to this uh, when I was coming back from the place um, I put it in the car and was listening to that uh, this one I have not listened to but I was listening to Spectral Mornings uh, yesterday um, because it's one of the albums I'm considering for my series and then of course all these tall ones some of them Rock Island I've listened to once uh, this one uh, Stormwatch I've listened to its entirety once um, I don't think I listened to this one Roots to Branches but the tag is missing it must have fell off so pretty sure I didn't and then the other two I know I haven't these two Jethro Tull's Catfish Rising and Dot Com so that's it for this uh, month I hope everybody uh, everybody has enjoyed the, the episode and the stuff that I've collected next month I'm hoping to further expand it I've slowly gone back up since I've moved and stuff so uh, hopefully I'm gonna get ridiculous again because that's what I like the best so Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode of um, new releases that I've purchased or album hauls. And uh, for the month of, uh, this is October already, month of October. And we'll see you at the end of next month in November to see what new I have. So have yourself a good day. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. It's much appreciated. Those things help me a lot. And I will see you then. Take care.